So let's have a look at the following problem. Here we give it a function, i, and i is a function of alpha, defined in this way using this integral. And we're told that this integral is just pi on 2 alpha. Now you can verify that by making a substitution, x equals alpha tan theta, and just uh, integrate it. Now we're asked to um, use this information here to show that this integral equals pi on 4 alpha cubed. In particular, we're asked to use uh, to show that by using Leibniz's rule. Now, what is Leibniz's rule? Well, Leibniz's rule has to do with differentiation when an integral is uh, concerned. Now, it's a bit weird because here we want to sh evaluate an integral, but we're going to use differentiation to do to do so. Now, it is true that you can just evaluate this integral using a substitution, x equals alpha tan theta, but here we're asked to use Leibniz's rule and differentiation. Okay, so let's um, calculate i dash. Okay, so I'm basically going to differentiate here and here, and use Leibniz's rule. Okay, now Leibniz's rule says that we can shift this d d alpha inside the integral sign and switch to partial derivatives. Okay, that's all Leibniz's rule uh, says. So we switch to partials. Okay, so let's look now, let's work out this partial derivative here, where we're going to get a minus 2 alpha on the top, and the thing down the bottom is going to be squared. Okay, now, let's look at what we have. This is almost like this. It's not quite like it. So how do we make it like it? Well, let's calculate i dash from this pi on 2 alpha. And then we're going to compare the i dashes. Okay, so we differentiate here with respect to alpha. We're going to get minus pi on the top and 2 alpha squared on the bottom. Alright, so let's compare these two uh, representations of i dash. It means that this integral must be equal to minus pi on 2 alpha squared. Okay, so all we need to do now to get the identity that we want is we can divide both sides by minus 2 alpha. Remember, x is the dummy variable here, so we can take this out and divide both sides. So we, if the minus signs will cancel out, we'll get 4 alpha cubed on the bottom. And if you look closely, this is exactly the identity we wanted to prove. Now, why would you use Leibniz rule here when you can already solve this by using a substitution? Well, that's a good question. Leibniz's rule is excellent for solving 
very complicated integrals. This one's not so bad. The example is designed to give you a feel for Leibniz's rule. Um, but you can evaluate very, very difficult integrals by using Leibniz's rule. So we can solve integrals by differentiation. Paradoxical, but very useful.